Hey guys, James here back with another video. So today I just want to do a quick video on how I run my audio. So as you can see at the moment, I've got a Zoom H1 and a Rode uh, Link uh, Filmmaker kit here um, on, on front of me. And as you can see, my audio levels are going straight to this uh, device. And so the way I run it is I've got a Rode, um, a Rode, belt, Rode Link belt pack. So this is the belt pack I'm using right now and that goes into my lapel mic. And so I clip this onto me, I just clip it onto, not to my belt, I just clip it to my pockets because it's easiest. And then that transmits to um, this. So as you can see, also the levels are coming through as well. Um, and that, uh, this cable comes with it and it goes straight to the input on my Zoom H1. And so I set this to about 17 just because that's my, that's my speaking voice, that's how loud. Um, I get and, and that's pretty much it. I run this um, on wave 96, uh, 96 kilohertz 24 bit. So as you can see uh, on this menu, um, that's what I've got it at and I record in wave format of course. Um, that's because I want the highest quality um, of audio that I can. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the, I, my camera does record onboard audio. Um, and the reason I record, the reason I don't plug this straight into that is because I want to record with high quality WAV files, and that allows me to manipulate um, the EQ and all the compression and everything um, well without it losing data um, and without it sounding distorted or low quality. And so, yeah, this is how I run it. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't I don't monitor my my sound, which is probably a bad idea because what happened was. Um, I ran, because these two can both run off power. So as you can see, there's a micro USB port here and there's a mini USB port here. And what happened was I, I connected them to my computer, um, like a USB hub, and I ran that off for power. But then the problem was I was getting electrical interference into my recording and I didn't know because I don't monitor my sound. And so from now on, I've just been using um, batteries. Um, so this takes one AA, this takes two AA's. And that's been fine with me. I mean, as you can see, I really drained my batteries. This is on one battery left out of the three bars. Um, but I'm cool with that. Um, if, if I do happen to die, if it does happen to die, um, I'm willing to just do the video again. Um, but yeah, I always think in post, that's why you saw me do the clap at the start. I actually use, will use this clap. Um, I, to actually use this clap to, to sync up this video. Now I can still still do it by waveform, by eye, but it's just easier. Um, but the benefit of recording both audio from both devices is that if I clap, then that spike appears in both the waveforms and I just have to align the waveform. I don't have to look through the video to actually find the point where my, hand, my two hands meet and that's when I sync. Um, so I just sync using the waveforms really. Yeah, the reason why I don't I don't use, the, I don't connect this directly into that as well, into my camera is because I've had a bad experience where I was recording something and then my friend, he was actually on the camera and cause I was in front of the camera. And so I said, you gotta make sure you need to monitor the audio because this was where, this went straight into my Nikon camera. I was using that at the time. And I got back and no audio was there at all because he forgot to look at the audio waveform and my lapel belt pack was actually muted or ran out of batteries or something. And so I learned from that mistake. <laughs> I, and I, yeah, I, I knew I should have done, I should have recorded separately, but I was a bit lazy and that's the consequence. So that's why I do it this way. Um, it's really, really simple. My mic is connected to my jumper, which is um, about maybe, uh, this much away so it's about 10 centimeters away from the mic and I turn my head around and it's okay the reason yeah so it's a really good investment um, this road link and I'm yeah really happy with it before I would have used the wide lapel mic which I have but going wireless makes it so much easier um, so yeah that's how I run my audio for my videos um, so yeah I hope you like this video like it if you liked it dislike if you disliked it leave a comment below you have any questions or any comments about um, how I run my setup or anything else about my setup if you're wanting to find out how I do certain things then uh, maybe I'll make a video about that uh, but yeah leave that in the comments below and subscribe to see more videos uh, in the future could be some like this or even just more unboxing videos um, so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one